This tutorial is going to show you how to use uh, the video recorder inside of the rich content editor um, to ultimately make a video to show your students. Uh, so in this case, this is a going to be a video um, of me making this video. So this is going to be kind of trippy, but we'll give it a shot anyway. So I'm going to go up here to this particular uh, button that kind of looks like a play button and I'm going to go ahead and hit that button and record or upload media. You're going to see me here in just a minute. Uh, I'm sitting here on my couch um, getting ready to record this video. So as soon as I hit start recording, uh, it's going to record me here. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm recording my video. You can see it gives you a little countdown. Uh, this little bar here tells me that my microphone is on. So if you don't see any movement here, uh, you know you've got some issues. Uh, that's not going to be a good thing. Um, but in any case, when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hit this finish button. I'm going to hit that finish button. Uh, I can title this video if you uh, if you would like. If not, you can see there's the date. Um, I can actually play it back. Uh, so this is me playing back down. the video I just uh, made. Uh, if I don't like what I've said, I can start over. Uh, notice I also have this tab here. Uh, if I had already uh, made a video, so like I said, you could use another device. You could just select that video file. Um, I believe it allows you to search anywhere on your computer. So if you're hooked into OneDrive, uh, that's where that's at. Um, anyway, and you can see the video is still there even after I uh, tab over and tab back. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and you'll notice what happens. Um, this is literally going, it's a 14-second video. Um, but uh, anyway, it's going to stick it right into Canvas here in just a second. Or maybe it's actually making, maybe it wants me to title it here. Um, oh, guess not. There it goes. Just took a, took a little bit. Um, so anyway, and you can see right now it'll be placed with a preview icon after it's embedded. Uh, so that's truly all you have to do to make a video. And uh, I'll go ahead and go down and save. So you can see what this looks like. And it might take a sec to process that video too. Video files are notoriously uh, very, very, very large. It's right there. There it is. There's my video icon. You can see it just has a nice little play button on it. Uh, so you can go ahead and play that video. And it opens up in a bigger screen for you to be able to, to play. And obviously in this case it's buffering a sec, but I'm also recording a video as I'm trying to play this one. Uh, so in any case, that is how you create a video inside of Canvas. Uh, pretty simple process, just got to know which button to hit and not be too shy or bashful.